In this video, we are going to solve a question on aldol cyclization. So let's look at the question here. We need to identify the product Z that is formed at the end of the reaction. So here you can see we have a diketone as a starting material, which is treated with a base and then heated and then reduced using lithium aluminum hydride to form the final product Z. So let's see what the structure of Z would look like. Okay. So the first step is treating this diketone with a base. When we treat this diketone with a base, hydroxide ion abstracts the hydrogen from the alpha position. As we already know, the hydrogen at the alpha carbon or the alpha hydrogen is highly acidic. It is because of the electron withdrawing nature of this group, C double bond O. O as we know is electronegative, it draws electron density away from this carbon atom making this carbon highly electron deficient. And because this carbon has become electron deficient or electrophilic, it tends to draw electron from the adjacent carbon atoms, making both of these alpha hydrogens highly acidic. Now, when you treat it with a base, the hydroxide ion abstracts this hydrogen atom and with the elimination of water molecule, we get a negative charge at this alpha carbon. In other words, the deprotonation of alpha hydrogen gives us an enolate ion. The enolate anion being nucleophilic now attacks a carbonyl group. This nucleophilic attack would result in the formation of a relatively stable five membered ring. So we know that intramolecular cyclizations usually happen when the resulting product is a stable five membered or a six membered ring. Now if this nucleophilic attack results in the formation of a smaller ring like a three membered or a four membered ring or even larger rings like eight membered or nine membered rings then it is not preferable because such large or such small rings are highly unstable. So as you can see the product of this nucleophilic attack is an aldol product and the resulting aldol product has a hydroxy group at the beta position. Now technically what we have here is a beta hydroxy ketone which means this product should be more accurately called a ketone product right but in general aldol product is an absolutely acceptable term to refer to both aldols as well as ketones especially when we are talking about aldol reactions aldol condensations or cyclizations where both the aldehydes as well as ketones are involved. So here we are using the term aldol in a more general sense which can encompass both the aldols as well as the ketones. Now if the hydroxide ion had abstracted the hydrogen atom from this alpha carbon, in that case we would have gotten a ring which is 7 membered and not a 5 membered ring. And because 5 membered ring is more stable than a larger ring like 7 membered ring, OH- prefers to abstract hydrogen from this alpha carbon instead of this alpha carbon. So this is nothing but X. Now what is the next step? We are heating this aldol product. Now when we heat this aldol product you see a dehydration reaction takes place where elimination of a water molecule happens. Now this typically occurs between the alpha and the beta carbon atoms. Now it's absolutely normal to wonder why hydrogen from this carbon gets eliminated and not the hydrogen atom from this carbon because both of them are adjacent to the OH group so elimination should ideally happen from either of the side right. But in this case you can see that an alpha beta elimination takes place and it's because of the stability offered by the conjugation with the carbonyl group. So this double bond formed at the alpha beta carbon can delocalize with the pi electrons of the carbonyl group making this product extra stable. Now the other hydrogen atom adjacent to the hydroxy group is less favored because it is less acidic and it does not form a stable conjugated system. So this is nothing but an intermediate Y. And in the last step we are treating this Y with a strong reducing agent lithium aluminum hydride. Now a keto group can reduce to secondary alcohol and the double bond can also reduce to give a saturated compound. But look at our reducing agent lithium aluminum hydride. Do you think this can reduce a double bond? No. Lithium aluminum hydride can only reduce the carbonyl group to secondary alcohol whereas the unsaturation remains as it is. It cannot reduce the double bond. So the final product Z obtained in this aldol condensation or cyclization reaction is this.